Ha ha. Guess who's in the kitchen? Me. Me in the kitchen is sort of a, a dangerous activity. So my middle two are youth group and they eat there, which is awesome. And uh, it's Sunday, so my husband can eat whatever he wants. Amos is having a hamburger left over from yesterday and my oldest is here sick. So I was gonna cook for him. Earlier today, I made popcorn. That's what happens when you walk away from the popcorn and it gets stuck. <laughs> and this is what happens when you don't clean up the kitchen all weekend. Yep. This is it. I'm just here to help people feel better about their own Ow. terrible selves. Making mashed potatoes. Let's see. Puncture the film. Cook on high for two minutes. Remove the film and stir well. Microwave uncovered for one minute. Make mashed potatoes. And these, this is, this is what you have when you don't have any fresh vegetables. You get... You take the green beans like this and you cook them in an iron skillet. And then over here, I have steak. The steak is in the air fryer, the air roaster. How about that? I don't see any comments. Hell, Facebook is on the struggle bus today. Not that I'm throwing any stones. The nightly news be on. It's light outside. Ugh, this is horrible. I do not like this time change. You know, when my kids were little, I liked it because it made the day go by quicker. But now that they're at the age where they can basically be ignored, I don't like it because I've lost the whole day. I mean, I'm still in my pajamas. Where how long is it to put these? Let's read the directions on this bag. Empty the contents. Cook over medium high heat eight to nine minutes. Ooh, that's not very long. Okay, I can do this. Has it been eight to nine minutes? I think it'll be eight minutes in like two minutes because my steak is in there. So I spent a good bit of today working on packing for skiing. Now, before I begin to complain about something like skiing, let me first preface it with skiing. No one is allowed to complain about skiing. Skiing is the most ridiculous sport on the planet. It's basically what you do if you want to waste money. Like there's no one that could be saving for retirement that is skiing on a regular basis, unless they're a gazillionaire. So I just like to say that. So if you're not skiing, I admire you because you're more of a saver than I am. And when you live in North, now if you lived in Jackson Hole, yes, ski all you want. It's perfect, it's a wonderful activity. But when you live where we do, there ain't been no ski in this is a peanut butter knife, but if you use the middle, you can recycle the knife. Um, there has been no skiing, no snow at all, but we have ski suits. Like we could be moving to Jackson Hole and we wouldn't need any other ski equipment. Oh, there's ants on my counter. Where are they coming from? Ants, springtime. This is actually sort of awesome not to have comments. Then I don't have to hear anybody yelling at me and I don't get distracted. Then it's sort of lonely though, but anyway. Anyway. Ah!
Okay. We're going to get out the steak. Where's my stick? I'm going to flip the steak. This is the steak in the air fryer. We're going to flip the steak. Aha! Flipping the steak. Putting the steak back in the air fryer. potatoes going. And I might as well be like Julia Child. So anyway, we're going skiing and we're taking, we're hiking Amos skiing. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Hot water just poured out of there. Thomas, you have five minutes. And we're going snowmobiling to some hot spring somewhere. My good friend Latham Jenkins lives there. He and his wife Megan, and they have two kids. One is a freshman at the College of Charleston. And he and my brother were roommates. In high school, they both went to um, Blue Ridge School in Charlottesville. So we're going to spend time with them. And that is going to be, that might be one of my favorite parts about the trip. So I wasn't going to go. I was going to stay home with Amos and let the big kids go. And then decided Amos and I might as well go because he loves to go places for one, mainly. And two... Um, they're out of school. He's out of school. He and Blair are out of school two days this week. So it seems silly just not to all of us go. So we're all gone. And then... Uh, these aren't very crispy. That's all right, I guess. Um, so Amos and I were going to do adaptive ski, adaptive skiing in Jackson Hole which we have never been skiing there. So that's, this is kind of a new thing for us. Um, last year we went to Deer Valley and we went to Steamboat the year before, but we did not take Amos. I just wasn't quite ready. And those were work trips. So I was kind of there to check out their programs and like see how they were. And working in Amos are sort of a bad combo. So. This is not a work trip. So the benefit of that is that it doesn't matter if things don't work out well. Because then he and I can just go to the pool. We're staying at this place called the Snake River Lodge. And we've stayed there before when I was pregnant with them. And um, yeah, they have an indoor outdoor pool. So he and I and my fat tail will be in that pool for a lot of time, I think. It's not ready yet. I can't believe I can't see comments. I have a live video tonight with Carrie, um, Carrie Carriello, Carriello on her page at 7.30. It changed. And um, <coughs> I wonder if she'll be able to see comments. And then Tuesday night, live from Jackson Hole, I will be on the phone with Monica Anderson or on the, I'll be on the Zoom with, um, and Monica is from Pew Research Foundation. And we will be talking about all this data that comes out tomorrow at noon related to teens and phone use and social media. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and swallow your pride just like I had to do because it's actually, I didn't feel too guilty. I never want to read those things because I always feel like I'm just <laughs> I'm a horrible parent, but it wasn't too bad. I'm not going to tell you what they found, but I do think you, I think most people would be pleasantly surprised in some regards 
the interesting thing about this study to me is that they asked teenagers to rate their parents. And then they had the parents rate themselves. So I'm going to let you guess on how you think that turned out. Were the parents accurate? Were they forgiving of themselves? Were the children forgiving of their parents? You'll have to tune in to see and find out. Very good. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's Tuesday night, 8 p.m. And what else? Oh, you want to see the skies? Look. This house smells like burnt popcorn. Oh, look at that pretty sky. You know, oh, it's, it, it's been blowing a gale today. Let's see out here. Is it still blowing, Thomas? It looks like the wind has switched. Not really. This heat is not really. It is too blowing. It's North Carolina winter. I tell you what, you go down to Florida and you start thinking, golly, I could live there. It's green and pretty and warm and nice. And here it's brown and windy and gray. See Do we think it's ready? Dun, 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 dun. Oh. So anyway, that's all our excitement. So this week is going to be fun. If you're not a subscriber, this might be your big chance to become one because you might just see all sorts of Interesting, exciting things. The Wood family on a group trip. Mm -hmm. Carry on, people. I'm gonna go finish my cooking. Oh, ooh, let me check the state first. Too rare. It's almost done, but look, it's a little rare. I'm gonna cook it some more. Thomas, it's just a little rare. There you go, folks. Dinner in a nutshell.